<laughs> Sorry. Raphael. I mean, honestly. We can do this. Come on, Raphael. Keep it down. That's right. Oh, we're back here with Fire Emblem Three Houses, our Verdant Wind Assassins. Run! We've got a battle day ahead of us, which uh, at the moment our professor level only permits two. Uh, sorry, one battle in a day. But since we have two battle days available to us, we're either going to do one battle, uh, two battles, or one battle and then one last monastery day where we'll go and hopefully pick some more Ambrosia and the like. But probably the more battle days because we have a few people below where I want them to be in level and really a, bit, a few supports and the Ambrosia are the only things we'd get from the, the extra monastery day because we don't have many activity points as it stands. It'd be like a bit more motivation and all. But I, well, I can't, I don't know what happens next month, but I'm gonna guess that there's a explore, an explore day before the next teaching day. So it's not as though we need our motivations all up uh, before the next, because there's no teaching day here. Uh, but why am I talking about that when really, uh, I probably put everyone's weapons away, didn't I? Right, I'll, I'll restock them silently myself. Let's just get to battling, shall we? Um, are we yet strong enough to do this? I'm gonna say no, because our even our strong uh, auxiliary battle is just, is just level six at the moment. And there are the more powerful ones. Um, uh, I mean, we're probably gonna have to struggle with them anyway. But part of me is also like, I don't really want to use them because that's they, they're higher levels. So that's more experience than you would normally have at this point. Like I said before, we're using some DLC stuff, so I, I'm not, not really ruling like ruling it out. But at the moment, I feel like we're all right without it. If I really get desperate, I'll start using them. Probably is what what will happen. Oh, right, and all the steel weapons have replenished themselves, which I, I think I won't go for too many though because we're. We're close to the point where we'll get um, Blya, the Smith and Silver weapons unlocked. Probably is best to just wait. Right, I've prepped it. I think we're ready. I'll just, uh, these are all the gear. This is all the gear we have now. In case you are interested, I will scroll through it quickly. I messed with the battalions just a little, but I think mostly just Claude and... Uh, it was just maybe just Claude that I swapped around. Because the one he had before was... This one, which was not giving him any physical stuff. All right, let's do this. And we should also be on the lookout. Oh, there are a whole bunch of armored people. Great. Uh, good to know. Oh, that's going to be tricky, actually, considering we still don't have much magic. That are disposable. Uh, Lysithia at least has Soul Blade now, so that should help us a bit with this. No, Lysithia. We also have to be look on, on the lookout for any valuable secrets that these enemies may possess. Trade secrets, here we go. Valuable information, share it with Anna to get something that will increase your knowledge. I thought it, we, were, we were getting a goddess icon from it, which would increase our luck. So there's only going to be one per training uh, mission, is there? Well, I suppose since they're route missions anyway, we'll be we'll be able to re loot that w uh, regardless. But what is the, the average defense around here? 16. Oh, man. So we're going to have a really difficult time with this, aren't we? There are not many people who are just generally doing 16 damage. Especially not with all these training weapons. Dear me. Uh, well, this might have been a little tricky for everyone to get Ready points in, but we'll give it a try nonetheless. I should definitely have bought more steel weapons in that case. I didn't even look at the enemies that were here, but I saved before this, so if we die, we die. First hit, hit's going to go out on Leone here, and she'll be able to do some damage back. Oh, they have armor blow, do they? Never mind. She won't be able to do any damage back. My mistake. Ah, of course they do. So their defense is uh, effectively uh, 22 on their turn. The swanky. Uh, great. <laughs> Nevertheless, if we can uh, put someone sturdy on the front line and then uh, have them... Uh, we, we can have other people pepper on bow hits and such, as Hilda will now demonstrate. Uh, I should have uh, thought it out a little better, though, and probably had some more vulneraries in the convoy so that we could, uh, uh, as, as needed. Anyway, uh, Claude should be able to do some good damage with uh, an iron bow twice. So why you get that, and I should be able to help out here. Nicely done. And you don't have any kind of uh, magic-y sword stuff yet, do you? No, you've got Rat Strike, though, which with a steel sword could give you, give you one damage. And your battalion is for healing, so let's maybe not... Uh, have that happen, maybe that'll be how we heal Leone, but let's make let's do the rest of this first. I gave you a leather shield, because like I was saying before, I want you to be the defense one. And your so defense is now 11, which is pretty great. It doesn't help you much with uh, doing damage, I guess. All right, Raphael's naturally pretty tanky, so I think putting him up front makes sense, and he can do pretty good damage with the training sword as well. So I'll have him do the Rat Strike here, and the other ones uh, can support him by firing some bow shots. It actually might even be easier to, to grind up certain aspects of us, uh, when, considering yes, we're going to be able to just going. hold this off and while well, they very slowly attack us with their axe attacks and all. But without a better bow, uh, Ignaz can't do much here, so I'll just have him get some experience with the weapon. There we go, Lawrence. Uh, so that they don't axe Marianne. Well, Marianne's gonna be out of their way anyway. Uh, I, I should've not, I shouldn't really have let them get as uh, this far, but I did, so. Now that that is that. Ooh, Tempest Lance is good. Let's try some Tempest Lance. Let's get a bit of extra damage on there up front. Yay! Nice try. Oh, and your gambit uh, does uh, a bunch of magic damage, right? So that's good to know. Uh, so let's start with your bow experience for the moment, though. 
with Mastermind, you're getting tons from that. It'd be nice if one of us, uh, the two of us, could gambit this, actually, and there's no real reason for me not to try, with my good charisma and all. I think that's a great idea. Because it'll let Happy uh, t uh, occupy the spot where I, that I wanted her to earlier. The tanky spot, as I like to call it, which is right in front of that bridge, and because I pull this one back. Right. So now they're not going after Hilda. This one wants to go after Claude, but they might want to go after Happy in a moment here. Um, but I'm going to have her see about... Uh, can I take them... Oh, she can take it down with Wrath Strike, so do that. That means the other one gets two hits on her, but... No biggie. No biggie. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. Because he's the only other one, Armor Knight, who can reach her, and they can't even reach her, because the other one person can't move, now that I think about it. Now, you're not doing any damage on their turn because of Armor Blow, but that's all right. We'll take this as slow as, as, as is necessary. This will get us a ton of weapon XP, really, especially as a bunch of us are Myrmidon now, so we're getting extra weapon experience from using swords. Uh, this is not a sword, I get that. <laughs> Let me just skip through this, actually. Because it is going to be rather slow. E plus and authority for you! Nice. Which do you rally? You rally speed, do you? Oh, cool. D plus and bow for Ignots. It's fun when you know what you're doing! And that's a max battalion for you also. So nine plus nine crit from the Lance Duelist, which is pretty sweet. And your avoidance is not so shabby uh, either at the moment. Ignatz and uh, Leonie are very naturally suited to this class, I believe. And I'll just have them, uh, her throw uh, the last Timbus Lance she can manage with this thing. Or Hilda does a bit of this. And that might uh, give uh, Marianne the chance to finish it off. We're about to find out. Not quite. She would probably have to do it with Steel Swords, Wrath Strike, which cannot as yet be orchestrated. So both of you just go with Training Bow, uh, get your weapon experience up, and cl uh, Battalion experience up, although I think yours is at max, maybe. Yes, it is. But for Lysithia, like for instance, is in a new class, so it, it, it pays to get her class mastery going. And uh, Claude and I can just offer support to Tanky Happy here. She's tankier than the both of us. Nope, not me, apparently. Did my Battalion give me some? Oh yeah, my time, Battalion gives me a few. So Happy and I can trade places then. But Claude and I will be able to offer some good support here. Ooh, Crest Flames! And this will get me some bow experience. I'll probably finally be up to E+. Plus. One, two, and this should be able to get Happy a takedown. Which may yet uh, get her a level. Uh, probably not quite a level, actually, but it'll get her up there. Uh, actually, I'm going to have her hold position with uh, the dodgier one, because she would take a lot of damage from that otherwise. Uh, and you, uh, Rat Strike with Training Sword? Seems like a good idea, because it doesn't cost very much durability at all. So I think this is probably the thing you want to be doing on most of your turns. I suppose if Ignatz rallied your strength, uh, or your speed, rather, you could do it with a better weapon, maybe. But at the moment, I think this is fine. Gonna want you to heal up soon enough, though. In fact, I'm gonna sit most of this, because we're not gonna do any damage on their turn, given their armor blow and all. Uh, Leonie's not looking great. I'll manage. But she says she'll manage. I think what I'll do is I'll have her uh, take that out with the lance. And then I'll have uh, Leone uh, move up, uh, sorry, uh, Hilda move up and start fighting with the training sword. That won't be the, the tr solution for a while, but it'll be temporary. Well, I have Leone heal this next turn, uh, and perhaps Marianne should go... I'll have her go to the... Ooh, who thinks they can... Oh, there's an archer, oh dear. That's, that's something we want to be worried about. How many archers they got? Just the two, right? Okay, so that shouldn't be awful. The, the poison strike is the real trick with that. I'm gonna have you... Uh, Vulnerary yourself, since Marian's in no position to heal you. And since actually Ignatz is stronger than Lauren's, what I'm gonna do, although he gets extra damage from his battalion, uh, I'm gonna have him curve shot uh, with the steel bow. And I'm gonna have Ignatz take that from him and try something similar, so we can get get them, start, start thinning their numbers early on here. It's trickier with the heavy armor, but it's not impossible, by any means. Yonk! I mean, I mean to say, with the heavy armor and with us not having any, having spell casting. Uh, I'm thinking we, uh... If Claude can finish this one off, which he can with the training bow rather it's easily, not luck. It's, fate. it's not luck, it's fate, then I can move up and uh, do a hit with the training sword here, and I'm reasonably tanky and evasive here, so I can do some good damage up front. Well, I even dodged that. The archer's gonna come after me, this gives Happy a chance to uh, heal. Shall I just put her up in the woods so that uh, if they, no matter what, they, they'd, uh, they'd rather not go after her? I think that's a wise thing. And uh, I don't think it's worth spending the durability. Well, it's a training bow, sure it is. Get yourself some bow experience. Let's get through that. All right. Oh, I got a real uh, beating late on me there because both the archers went after me, so I got poison struck a whole bunch. Okay, right. Careful. Then the, my thing, the right thing to do. Uh, this is kind of a guess based on not a whole lot. I'm gonna use the gambit. Oh, I missed. Okay, well I'm definitely toast then. Uh, <laughs> well, let me just not. Hey, sorry, sorry. I'll move myself up into the woods and uh, heal myself with a vulnerary. 
maybe happy the yep. other good tank can uh, do her gambit here. Oh, it doesn't do much damage, but uh, and she can only deal damage with the Wrath Strike, at least on the armored uh, one. We gotta get access to those archers ASAP, which is much easier said than done. Cod's got some decent avoidance on him. Uh, perhaps it's wise to have him go here with the bow? Well, no, he can't respond to the, these ones anyway, if they attacked him that way. So probably best to have him go with the sword, whatever he's doing. But he can do some deal decent damage with either sword. Um, and the archers I'm expecting are pretty fast, speed of 10. And what's his speed up at with the iron sword? 9. So he's comparable to them in that case. In which At which point, it makes sense to put him with the iron sword, I think. Shall I have him attack this turn, or is that going to put him too weak for this next turn? I think it's better if I don't have him attack with the iron sword, but just put him there with it. Which case, the gambit might be in order. Onslaught, sure, why not? Just in case you can get some good damage in. It was a miss, but that's all right. It was worth a try, I think. Throw it up to D, plus. Got this down. Well done, you! With our vulneraries, we don't heal uh, too quickly, naturally. Now, the archers can reach... Let me just mark them. Uh, they can reach Hilda here, which is unfortunate. I think we we'll probably want to back up all the way with these uh, bunch out of this range. The thief will be able to chase us a bit, but the armored knight won't chase us very far, I guess. You both can heal now, I suppose. Only so many of them can go after Claude, Leave staying up at the me. front there, anyway. Uh, I could have one of them... Well, the you can certainly make it farther than the Armored Knight, right? Oh, maybe not. All right, we'll have Lysithia move a bit farther away then, uh, so that she doesn't get... Well, I'll just put her... Uh, does it make sense to do... Uh, how much are you doing with Soul Blade, by the way? Not bad, not bad. Because it's the Training Swords might have three, plus two from this, plus six from the res. Wait, that should be... 11, right? So why is it 18? Plus 1 from this. It should be 12. I'm not sure why it's 18. Why do increase bases based on units res? Is it a typo and it means magic? Because if it was magic, then it would be uh, 12 plus 2 plus 1 is 15. It doesn't make sense either way. I'm not sure what's going on there. Nevertheless, it's very. it seems like it'll be a very useful combat. I'll just move you here because they're probably going to go after Hilda anyway. So they'll... Oh, wait. Will they, will they be able to axe her from there? Oh, they might do. Uh, shoot, I didn't, I didn't do that right, right then. Okay, we're gonna have to have Marianne use her gambit. Yes, please. I don't know if this will, Hilda will survive this, but um, did the trick. Did the trick. <laughs> we can move her somewhere else if if it, uh, she doesn't. I'm happy. Is there? Any oh, we haven't done this side yet. Right. Good to go. I'm gonna move you out of the way so you get a chance to heal, my friend. Ready anytime. I'm gonna have you fire a shot with the steel yeah. bow there. And perhaps Lawrence ahead. can hold, uh, manage the front line here for a moment with the steel lance. That's not a good idea. Uh, I'll have him. Just stand there with the training sword, I guess. And I could have ha uh, Happy deal some damage on this one with the training bow, so you might as well, because the archers aren't both going to be able to reach you, so you may as well help. Or does it make more sense to try and to help Claude with this? I, I don't suppose that does anything on their turn. It does only, only stuff on our turn, so let's go for the shot here. Claude may go down here, depending on the order in which the archers choose to do things and how much he dodges and etc. But other than that, I think we're doing a decent job at uh, clearing them out here. The archers are the real trick here, because... They, they, the funneling doesn't matter to them because they can shoot us from three away. All right, so he's taking that damage from there. It depends. Uh, the, the archers are going to do something like six to him and then like six more with the poison strike. Got a bit more uh, protection from that uh, battalion, so that's good. And Hilda's probably going to be fine if the thief couldn't even double her. The armored knight's definitely not going to be able to. Seven. How much does the poison strike do? Six. So it brings him down to eight. So he's just going to survive this barely, right? Oh no, this one has a slightly more strength. Damn it. This one just had to have one more point of strength, didn't they? Okay, well, I shouldn't have re rewound here. I should have rewound even earlier. Uh, he would have survived that if he'd had a shield, wouldn't he have? That's what I say. So just do a training bow uh, curve chop from there, happy. And I'll have him do the same thing, I think. What, did I just use a vulnerary in the woods? Is that what I did? I think so. Maybe he'll actually hit this time. Oh, he actually managed to hit this time. That's probably even better, isn't it? Because uh, the peace, people in front of him will have a... A weaker, um, weaker attack on him, he, now that he's rattled them. Like this one's attack has been lowered. Okay, good. So he'll almost definitely survive that. Now uh, we should be able to do the rest of the stuff the same. Okay, Hilda actually can't get out of the way, so I did have to heal her anyway. So we might as well. With, with Marianne's thing, I think I, said, I mean to say. Oh, I should have had you heal yourself there. What am I doing? So this should all work out the same way, more or less. Uh, I think I liked how I did this area as well. There you go. Right, uh, I'll just get through that. Let's see if we survive. His battalion goes up. Right. Uh, we should survive. There shouldn't be any way that they can take us down, I don't think. Right, okay. Uh, and now they've all clustered around the center, which uh, 
is good and bad. It's bad because it means someone will also have to survive in the same way Claude just did, which was already, uh, he only survived with one health. I think what is needed here is for me to do another gambit, uh, because partially that brings our frontline up by dragging this person back, but also it'll damage this archer. So only one of them will be able to move around and have full mobility and do stuff and things. Careful. I think the sensible thing is to uh, for you to pass that off to uh, me now. I love that we're just tra trading the <laughs> these swords back and forth. That's for shields, rather. Heal yourself. Uh, we should be able to do something about these bunch this turn, so don't worry about that, Claude. Uh, and I guess it's time for me to go back up there. Oh, I don't have nearly enough health for that. Maybe Marianne can do her gambit on me first. Uh, the two of us, in fact. I think it's worth doing. Might have been able to get someone else in that, but I didn't. Stay focused. And now I do my gambit. Uh, it almost definitely hits you, stuns the one behind you, and then makes it just overall difficult for you guys to do everything. Does Myla smile when they order to... Oh, of course I had to miss that. Nevertheless, with the shield, I'm, doing, I'm taking much less damage here, so it shouldn't be awful, and I can actually direct some of them away from a Hoppy if I have. You stand here. It would be really nice if you had a better bow than that. Is there anyone who's got a stronger one who could pass it off to you? Not really. Doesn't seem that way. All right, you're a thief in the woods, so you're going to be really evasive. It's going to be better if we do a gambit with you. Hilda's got good charisma, right? All right, between the two of you, we should be able to use that. Um, and then maybe if you do Soul Blade, that would be good. Okay, well, let's start with trying with yours, because yours is easier to hit with. Let's just put the bow on so you're helping her with that. You've already had a support and also should be give up by 10, right? 75% is pretty good. Nicely done, having it. Uh... And if that hits, then we don't need to worry about that thief any, uh, this turn. They're going to hit Hilda because I haven't moved her um, for, for not enough to kill her, which means these two can cooperate to take this one down. Can you do 10 damage with anything, uh, Leone? No, because I foolishly did away with your, your lance, but you can do it with the gambit so long as uh, she helps you. You get a 70% chance with that. You can do 10 damage and then she can finish it with Soul Blade. I think I want to try that. If you miss, this is going to suck. Because they all get to go wherever they want. Okay, goodness. It's Soul Blade time. We bonk. Out of here with you. This is what I do, man. Sword prowess up. Now, but so long as I survive, that's probably the hard part of that done, and we should be able to just get a bit more damage on the... Oh, should I even have you go after the archer this turn? You get a lot of damage taken from that, and they're... Uh, but I suppose not enough to kill you, because on their turn, if they go after you, it'll be 7 and 7, they bring you down to 1, and then Poison Strike doesn't kill you, and it's probably worth getting the damage on them earlier on. Second we get those archers done, this is going to be way easier. Maybe Raphael should come up and help. Ooh. If he had a steel bow. Which one of you's got the steel bow? That'll be Ignatz. If you pass that off to Raphael, I bet he can take that archer down in one shot. And while you're doing this, Ignatz, you might as well throw a curve shot with that to do one damage, get a bit of experience, and such. Bonk. Oh, you could have rallied his speed. Actually, it would have been probably smarter. Uh, lead to him dying less easily uh, if he misses this, but never mind. He shouldn't miss this. 80% chance pretty good. I could have actually helped him if I gave, put a bow on myself, I think. Oh, no, never mind. I already moved. That wouldn't have been possible. So you're going to go after Raphael, that'll hurt him, but no one else can range attack him, so that should be that should be really good uh, progress we've just made. And maybe it makes sense to have Happy do this then after all. In fact, she can take the steel bow from him. Oh no, because this one has higher strength, so let's not risk that. Makes more sense to just uh, curve shot this one who's right in front of you. Okay, we might have actually somehow managed to make through that. I didn't. I, I was thinking it was unlikely for a bit there, but seems to be what's happened. I'll have you just vulnerary yourself so we can take few, as few chances here as possible, and I think we should survive this. Okay, some of them are even going around, which should make it even easier. We split them up that way. It should give us even easier, easier access at the archer, because they're going to have fewer people in, in between and all. So I'm going to be uh, take some damage from that. Archer's probably going to go after R R Raphael, because he won't be able to respond. You take some damage, respond, and take them out. So one of you three will be able to block off the boss this next turn. Archer goes after Raphael, as predicted. Um, so probably the right thing to do, though it will hurt is for me to do to start with this 13 and then have Raphael finish just right after me. Uh, just so we can get the archer gone as soon as possible. I think that makes sense. I'll start with it. I'll just do it. Get that gone first, because that's priority. At least they don't get poison strike on my turn. I'm level 8 now. Can I get some defense, please? Strength and dex. Hey, now. Good to go. You can seal both this down, right? Yep. Especially with my help. Should be good. They don't get vantage at this point. Nice. Well done. Better. 
Should have trained better, you moron. Right, um, now only this one is saying they're gonna go after me because I blocked this off. Now we can, uh, so we don't want Hilda up there, I don't think. I think Leone is uh, in a good sta state to dodge lots of stuff and all that. Is it worth going for the combat art? Uh, not really. I think that's uh, extra damage you don't really need to take. In fact, it's probably better if you vulnerate yourself. They're cheap. And now that we have no more ranged people, we can just fully do the, play the check choke points here, which is excellent. Oh, they're fast though, this armored one. Hilda, launch arrows on the boss. So who who has not gone up a level yet? Is that our happy and... Oh my god, all our level fours are still level four. Marianne, can you do any damage with your steel bow here? None. You've only got a protection of 16. Uh, I guess you'd have to do it with the uh, steel sword might have eight. Strength of five is 13 plus wrath strikes five. So you, you could get a takedown with that, which is probably what we want. You're probably the one we want to do that. Happy could get some extra damage out on this one as it stands. So uh, we can you can carry on getting some experience that way. Lawrence is the other level four, is that right? So we're gonna want him to finish off with his steel lance here, which he can do some good damage with. 11, in fact. Raphael will come back to help him with this in a moment. Uh, Ignatz has broken his iron bow, so can't do much. Just fire with the iron bow for bow experience without wasting durability on anything. Since you're not gonna, it doesn't matter if you hit anyway. Ready and willing. Maybe Claude can help Lawrence out. Is Ignatz also level four? Yes, he is, okay, right. I think getting Marianne to take down on the boss is the, is the sensible thing because She's going to have the hardest time of our level 4s presently because she has the lowest strength of them. Her strength is lower than Happy's, who's... Happy's got 9? 8. Lawrence has 9 and uh, Ignatz has 10. So they all, they all class her a fair bit in strength. So they'll have an easier time when we, when, we, when we roll another training battle that isn't all heavy armor people, basically. And the rest of you just get some weapon XP on this boss. Keep vulnerable healing until Claude and Raphael get there to help you take that down. And I'll just carry... Skip, I'm skipping through most of these uh, attacks on us. Of course, I've got my bow on, so I won't be any use here. Claude can certainly help out with the iron bow there, bring them down to 16. Uh, if Raphael is able to get over here, yes he is. Even with the training bow, he should help a fair bit. Bring them down to 11, perfect. And that's just enough for Lawrence to do uh, this. With the support from his friends, he should have 100, right? Yep. Finish that off. Should be enough experience maybe for a level? Yeah, there we go. So you're going to have Myrmidon before uh, the next battle, which is good. Magic and defense. Must be strong. I like that his strength and magic are, are building equally. Probably as we class him into assassin, that's going to change. But for the moment, I think it's quite good. And you two can uh, tag team this because you both need the experience because you are both level four. And your battalion is level up. Oh, right. I just gave you a new one. So, of course, it'll be at a low level and all. It helps to get your accuracy and up and all, even though that one is tanking your physical attack, of course. If you pulled some Wrath Strike business... Well, you have a good chance to dodge, so it's probably worth... Actually, it's probably worth doing your uh, gambit right here, because we're not going to need it, I don't think. Don't underestimate us. Don't underestimate us, you just because you're a boss fight who dodged everything. Not as hard as I thought. All right, she got authority up to D. I thought that was when you got your for fun skill, like Ignatz has. Huh, maybe not everyone gets one. I thought they did. I had better bring out my training sword and uh, a vulnerary, so I can heal up, be healing up from uh, these attacks that they're doing to me and actually deal some damage. Actually, will I be able to deal damage on their turn? I'm not sure. My strength is pretty high, so it... It's a possibility, but I don't know for sure, one way or the other. And they're all going over to the left side now, seeming to... Now that I've got a sword, they don't want any part in this. I am crested of uh, flamesing, but it's not doing enough damage to heal myself, so there's that. All right, which of you needs more experience? Uh, Happy or Ignatz? It's quite close, actually. I'll have Ignatz go first, and uh, Happy finishes, I guess, then. I don't know, she... Uh, she not with this last bit of the training bow, she won't. I could finish off here, but I probably take some damage in the process, and then someone else runs up and kills me. So let's uh, let's not. I'll just heal myself and stand guard here again. And you bunch are all free to help now. Uh, Lawrence is up at level five, so he's lowest pr lower priority than the other bunch because he uh, does not need to get up a level. I'll have him stride uh, Raphael because he's got two anyway, so he may as well. Well, the steel lance looks super cool. I never noticed that before because I rarely use the steel weapons. Look at it; it's dope as hell. Raphael can help uh, start just taking some people off out from the back. I think. <laughs> Probably the right thing for him to do. Weapon experience for you all. Weapon experience, weapon experience, and authority experience. Get you some stronger battalions in no time. Skill is, uh, and bow is D+. Plus. Well done. You only need a bow of uh, C for assassin, don't you? So we're almost all already there, really. My Crest of Flames actually activated there for six damage, which did heal me a bit, uh, therefore. All right, that one's going over there. Uh, Ignatz, after them. No, Happy needs more experience. Uh, Ignatz, can you... Uh, can someone pass you a stronger bow so that you can take uh, out this other one? Yes, they can. So you do that. 
That should be a level for you. You're pretty close. There you go. I knew. I knew it would be a level. You get, might get some strength from this. His strength goes really well. And dex and speed. Hey, hey, now. Now, Happy, it's your turn for a level up. Could you go for some strength and dex and speed as well? Maybe defense? Ooh, strength of magic. Baby steps, I guess. I take it. Works for me. Uh, how do you, has your, uh, do you have another use of the gambit? Oh, no, you're out of those. Um, so how much would Soul Blade do against this one? Uh, I'll just get Leone the way uh, Raphael can tank in a moment here, just because I want to see how much uh, Soul Blade would do here. Although I said we want Marianne doing the finisher, right? So how much damage does she do with the Steel Swords Wrath Strike? One! So if we can get them down to one, that would be great. It might be a little tricky to manage. I'll have Raphael try his gambit, because he's quite handy with it, actually. Uh, that might mean he takes down the boss uh, on the next turn. Oh, he should definitely have healed there. What was I doing? Well, it's fine. They're going to uh, deal with nine damage to him this turn anyway. That was just silly. Why did I do that? Uh, do you have a better bow you could take from someone? If you got the steel bow, this would make this go faster, Hilda. You. It'll allow us to more effectively uh, get Marianne the takedown here. But for now, you two just get your weapon experience. Ignatz, if I could have your vulnerable, please. Mine has run dry. Raphael does some good damage back there. And we probably want to put Leone back, actually, because she was dodging a lot more. More strength and defense for you. Excellent. And there we go there. You know what? Now that I'm seeing how often uh, Cluster Flames triggers and the fact that that, that often results in the, the extra damage, I do see what people were saying about it being really useful. Right, okay. So if you can do uh, four, that leaves him down at four. With her training bow, she does three, right? So that will allow Marianne to get the takedown. And it also gets you a level. More strength and dex and speed. Magic I speed and luck and res. Fly, wow. You know? Both magics. Interesting. But the speed is good. Her speed's not bad. Yeah, get in the hang of it. And authority. That's just E plus in authority? Oh, weird. Isn't most people, don't most people have better than that? Does she have a weakness in it or something? I can't check from here. Anyway, this is what we were trying to orchestrate, so let's get this going now. Yeah, Yonk! Thank you! See ya later! I can't afford to lose. Oh, not quite enough for a level yet, so I guess we're gonna try and get her another takedown here. It should be easier, because none of them will- the, other, the others won't have as much defense as that one did, I don't think. Actually, don't they, though? No, yeah, they all have 16. So wait, what? Ah, so it's, it is gonna be similarly tricky to getting- Ah, well, whatever. We'll manage it. It'd be really sucky if she was the only one who didn't get to Myrmidon after this. Actually, we might not be able to buy- Oh, no, no, we were able to buy as many beginner seals as we wanted, that's right. Alright, I can do some decent damage here, so I'll just- I'll just attack this with the train sword, so I can try and bring this one down to one health as well, because I think she just needs one takedown on anyone, right? 24, surely she'll only need the one takedown on anyone to get that. Uh, so you go there with the steel bow, why don't you? Uh, maybe Claude can help soften this up a bit, or will it be a takedown? Uh, if you go with the broken bow, it won't be a takedown, so may as well. Did some damage there. You just get some weapon experience too, did her for you. Ow. This one goes after me. Owie. Yonk. Yonk. Alright, so this is the one with, uh, with the least health, so if anyone could do eight damage, that would be much appreciated. Uh... Be mindful. I don't suppose there is anyone who can obviously do so. Curve shot with the Iron Bow does nine. How much stronger is an Iron Bow than a Training Bow? Six. Three. So it would be doing six, uh, if you tried that with a Training Bow. As would Raphael. Gonna run back and heal myself. Uh, how much could Lauren's do with, say... Uh, hmm. Should be a way to get them down. Ah, right, it was only my support, your support with me that was... Oh, wait, it was just your support with me that was, uh... Bringing you up to nine, so if you do with this, it's just eight. Oh, perfect, okay. And then Claude can tank there, and we can bring Marianne over there this turn, and that will get her up to level five, which is what we need. Right, okay, good. Uh, in that case, we just need to survive, then. Hilda and Raphael, carry on with your, uh, your firing off your shots from the side. You're doing great. Raphael's strength is growing tremendously. Are we okay, but I gotta remember that since we were, we were not, uh, we didn't do amazingly up front here. Um, oh, bugger. Man, they had this one go first. Why? Okay, well, that one's going over there. Fine, whatever. As long as there's the one with one health, we can take it down. For instance, if we have, uh, do you have a, a vulnerable on you, Hilda? Yes, good, okay. So we have Raphael and Hilda tag team this one. D plus bow. Sweet. And Raphael, not that one, not that one. Uh, take this one down, and then the the one with one health is gonna go after Leone here. Uh, and I'll have her grab a vulnerary so that she doesn't die from that. I'm hey, sorry, w w since we weren't careful up close, uh, or w we weren't horribly careful up front, we only got one divine pulse left, so I gotta be careful. Uh, but we can take, as long as that one doesn't decide again to swap uh, sides, uh, Marianne should be able to reach them by going one, two, three, four. This next turn. I'll have her in the middle just in case they move back and, or something. It's your call. 
Well, I get two shots with the iron bow there. You're almost up at level seven. Uh, what's our level? What are other levels like? I've got a few level five people, recent level fives like Lawrence, who could stand uh, to gain from doing some good damage here. He's having trouble unless we give him the uh, steel bow. So just do a curve shot with the steel bow. I say. Oh, I, this is not someone who has a steel bow. Well, too late. Do with the iron bow then. One damage. One experience. Good. Steel bow that. Yonk. You can steel sword this for six. Is anyone who could do Stay less focused. than that? Uh, I would take down with this. Uh, whatever then. Just give the, the take down to Light City, I suppose, with the soul blade. Go for that. 23 with Kester Karen. I'll take that. And we got our trade secret. Delightful. And you're going to go after Leone still. Marion finishes off. We all have a Merry Christmas. Alrighty, about time. That's enough value, you, partner. Whew. There we go. I guess it worked out. I guess so. So everyone level five will definitely have a chance. What was that person? What are you running like that for? Well done, you got an extra strength, and dex, and speed, and res. Oh, marvelous. And authority up to D. Sorry, I skipped your dialogue there. And a whole bunch of gold from that, and some moose. Moose is very hard to get. That's the one that's part of... um. One of the really rare meals you can make. And uh, our renown went up from that also. So that was a, a mighty success, that. Took 50 minutes, but 5-0, uh, that is. La next one shouldn't take quite that long. And we've made uh, massive strides from that. Like, absolutely huge ones. Huge stat increases. All the right, mostly the right stats were being leveled. Everyone's level 5, at least now, so we can get Myrmidon before the next battle. Everything's coming up hoppy. And we get a teaching day before that, so let's do it. First, let's just investigate everyone's goals. It occurred to me that since uh, brawling only... It put, or putting only one uh, skill thing only makes it this progress go by 1.5 times, it's technically less efficient than doing it another way. But since brawling, I learned you need to be at A. It was kindly commented to me for the Aura Gauntlets, as I always forget, because that seems ludicrous. Uh, we do probably want anyone who is going to be having the those... Uh, to have them as early as possible, namely Marianne, Lysithia, and Happy. So I think it makes sense to have them focus back all into Brawl. Um, for everyone else, I wanted them brawling up to C or B or whichever one gives uh, healing focus. So I think it makes sense to have everyone else go in that and the flying for the avoidance plus that uh, will be useful for damn near everyone. This way we'll be able to do a lot more, a lot of damage on enemy turns uh, safely if we can get everyone alert stance, such as my uh, perception anyway. And everyone's growing well enough in sword and uh, bow because you need, well, uh, I can't check now, but you need, I think for assassin, it's B in sword and C in bow. So we're likely to have that in sword by that point, considering some, most of us are uh, on the well on the way to C, if not there already, uh, in both sword and bow. So we've nearly got the requisite thing for bow and the sword will take a little more time. I think the goals are in the right, right place though. And I had two people flying, I had you two because I want to see your supports. <laughs> and because uh, you both have an affinity for it, and I want Happy to have flying, as I want her to be a tank of all kinds. Dodging and uh, defenses. That said, I, I'm still thinking about it, and considering how well Leone's dodge is going, I'm thinking either Leone or, or Ignatz makes sense for the the Dancer's avoidance plus from the sword. Because I want I want Happy to be like the jack-of-all-trades defenses. I defend against this, I defend against that, I def and I dodge a lot. Ignatz and Leone are leaning more, we dodge extremely well, as it stands. So I think they make more sense as a candidate as candidates for the Dancer. But we shall see. Alright, of the four people who are in our party, uh... I'm oh, sorry, of the people who are in our party, rather, period. Um, uh, we have these five, but Marianne's only got one point, so it makes sense to do the other th uh, four, I think. Leone, what are we teaching you in? Uh, the brawling isn't quite as pressing as probably the flying, because you don't need to get brawling quite as high. for the Because there's the alert stance and then there's the alert stance plus, and we probably will only go as far as plus for a few of them. But then again, I have Professor Expertise and Sword. Uh, you're going to get a good, you're good at Sword anyway. Um, I'll give you some flying. I don't know how to fly, but uh, I can tell you're going to be a natural at it. E plus already. Look at you go. Excellent. Iggy, uh, you have a weakness in flying, so especially we probably want to be doing you in flying, I think. I'll keep trying my best. Well done, you. Raphael and Claude, starting with Raphael, um, you have a weakness in bow. Probably we could uh, stand to get you a bit of that, couldn't we? Because you're, you're, your flying isn't awful. And you're naturally good at brawling, so you're going to be there pretty soon. Yeah, let's give you some bow. I'm god-awful with a bow, so I won't be able to much help here, but uh, we'll work on it together, you and I, and with perseverance, we will get somewhere. Much unlike actual school. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I have a responsibility as someone with people listening to me to not say stupid stuff. 
that will dissuade people from their full potential. Oh, naturally he's good with flying, of course. I'm not really sure what to go with you. Maybe just brawling, because uh, you've, you got, you're an expert at flying. Sword and bow. You're flying sword and bow are the things I'm just backing you into, and you're doing well at them. So brawling is the only one you don't have a specific, uh, a lot from this. uh like, actual a bonus from. So that may as well help you with that. You. Oh, stop, Claude. Yeah, I've got this down. And you're doing quite well with uh, brawling as it stands. There you go. Lecture engage. If someone could ask a question so I could get points from that, that would be awesome. Okay, fine. I see how it is. Whatever. Whatever. I like to point fingers, but Coco really slowed us down. That wasn't very well. It was my fault, but only technically. Well, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> but uh, well done, you do anyway. Better than before. It's all progress, isn't it? Close kind of you get at C. Okay, good to know. Right, so our next- I'm thinking another battle day makes sense because we could really use just a bit more refinement in our levels and such. And does it tell us, uh, the, our recommended mi well, regardless of what the recommended level is, I remember this mission being difficult anyway. So just level 7. Okay, not bad. We're actually all much closer to approaching that than last time. Our lowest levels are 5, and even then, we're, we're there climbing quite quickly. Uh, supports have gone up as well. Oh, we've got tons. Okay, um, uh, we'll do those before the mission next time, I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna save this this episode mostly for battles. Just keep it all tidy so it doesn't sprawl uh, out too long, and I'll replenish everyone's battalions. We're running a little low on money, um, especially as I broke a lot of weapons. We got a bullion from that though, did we not? Marianne had it, I think. Yep. Sweet. I'm gonna wipe everyone's weapons and start again because I mixed them all around anyway. I can sell the trade secrets for ten gold. <laughs> That's so sad. By the way, are there are we allowed to buy any more uh, shields at the moment? I guess that'd be in the item store, would it not? Uh, we can get as far as an iron shield. Ooh, cool. I think I'll wait till we get a better one. I'll handle on it, uh, keep a hand on this uh, leather shield we got for now. My, my, we're really hanging off a very paycheck here, aren't we? Golly. To battle again. Um, okay, so let's well, let's have a look at uh, the, the level six one. It says Battle of the Empire, so it's gonna be the same map, I think. Uh, but, question is, Will it also be heavy armor people again? <laughs> because I think I'd like to go somewhere else if that is the case. In which case, we might do the the auxiliary level nine one, or maybe even try on uh, try out the um, the battle quest. What kind of units have we got? Uh, ooh, sword people. Okay, at least at the very least, they are not all thieves. So they're myrmidons, much like us ourselves. They'll be fast and difficult to battle, but they won't get to move through us. Once again, they've got one. Oh, just, they've just got the one archer this time and a mage, though. So that's to be careful about. But this is probably going to be easier, were I to guess. They've not got any crazy crit chances. Sevens across the board, right? Worst is a ten from the archer. Most of our lucks are even around ten before we even have a, a weapon. So anyway, this should be much easier. I'll hush up and get on with it. Ooh, oh shit! Am I still allowed to? Uh... Oh, did that? Oh, I did because I didn't class everyone up. Bugger. And I just saved. I didn't do a battle yet. Does that count or like, does that, has that eaten my day? And it's not the end of the world. I could just class them up after, but that'd be really tedious if that eats the day. Oh no, thank goodness. Okay, they're gonna let me. <sighs> okay, good. <laughs> I forgot because it didn't show me the, the dot on it. All right, okay. So we need uh, one for Lawrence, one for Ignatz, one for Marianne. I think it was just four we needed and then one for Happy. Okay, so we need four. Right, okay, so we're gonna have to sell some stuff. Uh, uh, how much did they cost? 300 beginner seals? 500, so we need 2,000 gold right now. Let's see about uh, selling some stuff in the storehouse. Oh, we've got a moose. You know what? The dish raises HP and strength. Uh, it's sort of an eclectic circumstance that we're gonna find ourselves using that, although it might be nice to give to animals. They, I, I assume the higher tier ones do yeah, give you a better shot at. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell the moose we got. I'm just gonna sell two of them to get enough money for that. Sorry if I really angered anyone who wants, wanted me to use the moose on something else, but these seals are uh, not negotiable. Are, are, it's it's going to be way better if we just class everyone up now. Anyway, Lawrence, my friend, remember on up. No, there was not. You had way hundred one hundred percent chance of anything that happen. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. You're gonna get some defense out of this. Sweet. I guess the minimum we can have is six. Works for me. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, yours was done at four, so it, we're, it's for the best that you got that. I can't believe I did. Oh, no, it bumps it by one, but the minimum is five uh, you have for it. I see. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 that, sorry, that makes sense. Wait, but it doesn't bump it by one. Oh, okay. So it... If, you're, if your defense is already six, it keeps it at six. If your defense is five, it gives you six. If your defense is lower than five, it brings you up to a five and then gives you six. Okay, that's confusing, but I get how it works now. I think. Well done, Marianne! Ooh, what are you getting? 
Strength! I didn't even notice. Well done, you. Of course you passed, Marianne. You've been working so hard. And your strength is already pretty decent, so you don't need one. You don't get one from this, but you do get a speed bump. You'll find no complaints here. And of course, all the sword uh, expertise and stuff that you get, and you have new growths, and everything is just good for that you have this. It would have been nice if they told you the growths at some point, so that we didn't have to go data mining for it. Not that I was the one who did any data mining. I just reap the rewards of it is all. Right, so back to this battle, and let's hope it uh, is the same enemies and didn't re-roll after I class people up or something. Because that would suck. Hoppy and Claude are... Uh, Claude's at level 6 and Hoppy's at level 8, is that right? So we're, we're on our way to getting advanced classes, or the next tier of classes, but... Not just yet. Oh, actually. Uh, right, okay, it is the right same enemy. Sorry, I did just want to check one once more. Or rather, in the first place, I wanted to check. Uh, right, so I'm, I'm level 8, he's level 6. For Thief, what are your... What, uh, you need just Swords and Seer higher. So almost everyone will have that uh, by the time they hit level 10. And if they don't, they'll be at like D+, and they'll have a good chance of it anyway. An Assassin, which is, comes right after that, uh, is Sword B, Bow C. So we're, we're all going to almost definitely have the right stuff for for the classes that we want because we're training them quite diligently good to know sorry now we can finally start this battle i reckon it'll be uh it take a little less thought than that last one and once again we have very few ranged people on their part so we should be able to have a much better uh, do do something similar with this um choke point strategy caught and i are the only ones who i don't have in the in the swanky evening wear right naturally they are quite fast though so uh tanking will be will be difficult for people who don't also meet their speed but uh with Myrmidon, most of us do uh, especially hilda yes level fives who are our priorities leone Lawrence, marianne Ly ignatz lysithia happy right but mostly the people who were level four before so happy ignatz Lawrence, marianne those are the ones we just classed up are they not yeah i think so well that wasn't wise uh sorry i'm gonna have claude do this actually i almost let both of those people get in at once but we want to be doing choke points i just said this uh, your speed is good enough to not get doubled by them. Your strength uh, goes down a bit from your uh, stride battalion, uh, but their defense is only 8, so you're going to be doing damage anyway. You can trade places with Ignatz and uh, Raphael in a moment. You may as well rally his speed. Bump his dodge and all. Appreciated. Have you a bunch? It makes more sense if Leone goes up, uh, because she has the best dodge and needs the most experience at the moment. Nicely done, Claude. Our friends will be able to offer support to you uh, with the bow, which is good because you get... Um, Suits me well. Wow, that was incredible. I didn't. I almost just waltzed right by. What a great level that was. You're going to be getting extra experience from your uh, uh, Myrmidon anyway, so that's not so bad. Right, now we're, we're almost in, in evenly matched uh, one to one with each enemy. I've obviously they outnumber us, but in terms of one to one fighting, we're doing about the same damage to them as they would to us, so that's a good sign usually. More Texan speed and charisma. Her charisma is alright, isn't it? Uh, does it make the most sense to go all gang up on the same one? I think it probably does. And you're doing way more damage than we were to the Armored Knights, naturally. And you're keeping your uh, sword and bow both pretty in, in pretty close esteem, which is uh, good of you to do, Lysithia. And she dodged, so we don't even need to worry about this. Just hit them with a training sword. Another one, down. Another one down. I'm gonna have us all back up so we can uh, let Happy or... Well, actually, Happy can probably do a bit of damage from... Oh, she can do that. Okay, that's good. I'll let her weaken them up like that, and then Marianne goes for the finisher with the Steel Sword Wrath Strike. Yes, indeed. Can't afford to lose. And you're not going to, because you're so damn strong. Uh, they'll get to W this way. Is it worth doing it for the bit of damage you get? Nah, I better have me tank this. And how much is my speed? 11, so I'm uh, matched with them about... All right, Ignatz and Lawrence will have uh, just started cooperate on this. Ah, I accidentally skipped through his crit. I'm so sorry. I didn't even mean to skip that. Lauren's also needs to be though, so I'll have him lure this one. Uh, and maybe Raffle can head to the center. No, he better stick around. I like this formation we've got with these three lads over there, these three lasses over there, and us four in the middle. Ow. Nice. And everyone's just going to run up towards us, so I think we can skip this. And you three cooperating on this is good, because uh, it gives... Oh, uh, you need to take down. So let's get you uh, Soul Blade. Take down here. Um... I'm gonna guess you're gonna wait. Well, let's calculate it. Steel sword eight plus res of six is fourteen. Sixteen uh, minus their three is thirteen. Okay. Uh, thing is, if I do something like that, then no one will be able to walk in, take their place, and this one will run up and hit you, which is not good. Uh, we'll do that next turn, I guess. Just do steel bow on you for now. Nice battalion level. Magic attack going up. Is that resilience plus four? I read. Oh, because they increase your resilience too. So maybe when it said, um, when it says soul blade increases based on your unit's res, does it maybe increase based on your resilience rather than that? That would explain why there was, there was more damage than we thought was going out earlier. Anyway, if you do that, uh, you can finish this off with ease. Takes care of with that. relative ease. <laughs> you thought you could escape that, 
DK64 rap jokes just because we're done with Path of Radiance? Never. You could do this, but then obviously a whole bunch of people would come after you, but your res makes it you a good candidate for it. Maybe you put, uh, pull a curve shot here, and that'll be a way you start here. Makes some sense. And since you've got your shield, right? Uh, and your decent res, right? Yeah, uh, I suppose there's no... It's not the worst idea to have you tank that. Since you're lower level than me and all. You'll be doing not much damage with that, but... Uh, well, you're, you have pretty poor attack speed anyway, so you may as well put the Steel Sword on, I suppose. Claude, get a curve shot out there, why don't you? Nice shot. I said before he even hit, because I knew he would hit. You two both grab your uh, curve uh, sh shots there to give Lawrence a hand. Actually, can he finish this, this, this now? He sure can. Jung! Yonk! Like I said, much easier than the Heavy Armor 1. But of course, we're sort of slowing down and getting our level ups here, because we're almost matching them in level. Yeah, well, I mean, not quite, but they're only level 9 anyway, so... We're not getting tons off them, but that's all right. All right, so you're going to go after her and do... Oh, wow, much less damage than I thought with her excellent defenses. I thought the, the mage might go after her, but that's probably not going to happen. Ow. Yonk. And you're uh, no, no, not going to be close enough. Uh, Very good. So, wait, this is more or less the same problem that we just ran into, though, right? Because you're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to have you do this anyway because we haven't used any pulses yet. Uh, I just want to see if you can take this out with Soul Blade. Does 17 with the Training Sword. So with the Training Sword... Three, hang on, I gotta calculate this. So it's a might of 20 because their res is three. So with the training sword is three, plus the resilience of 10, plus it's, the, this gives, it says 13, plus the two to all magic attacks, should only be 15. Even if we're going by resilience rather than res, I really don't understand that one. Oh wait, no, no, sorry, it does make sense. Sort of, wait, not really. So you did it with the training sword, with the training sword. Training sword might of three. Combat Art Might of 2 is 5. If we assume that it adds your Resilience, not your Res, then it's up to 15. Plus 2 Magic Attack from this is 17. So that accounts for this number, but that may makes it sound like they don't have any Res playing into it. And with the Steel Sword, it increases it by 5. So it's just the, the Might difference there. So they just don't get any Res for that? Or am I, or am I horribly miscounting, miscalculating this? It makes no sense to me, but you know what? It's fine. It's just that I want to know how to be able to calculate it later on, because I won't always have the chance to actually run up and, and look at how much damage it does. But uh, I suppose that'll work for now. Wonk! I just worked harder. I just worked harder. That's the explanation. Level six for me! Strength and dex! Time for failure. It's not a failure, Isithia. This is incredibly good news. And since we don't want you getting wrecked by that... Actually, you wouldn't even get horribly wrecked by it, but you wouldn't do any damage in response, so... I guess neither would Hilda, but she has a bit more health and defense, I think. Just hang around there with the... Uh, oh, I gave the bow. That was not what I meant to do, but whatever. Um, and you can uh, fire a shot there. They won't do any damage back, so that's just safe to do. You missed, I guess. Because you didn't get any experience from it. Uh, Steel Sword Rat Strike? Yeah. Your defense is uh, really helpful here. And Javi may as well just tank this whole thing aside herself at the moment. Because she is level 5 as it stands. So is Iggy, so he can help it out, I guess. So not exactly by herself. Finish that off. She'll only have to contend with the one more on that side. And now you're uh, overtaking her a bit, so she doesn't. Uh, uh, it's best that she doesn't take your help anymore. Uh, and maybe Ignatz. Uh, well, Lawrence will have a difficult time with that uh, tank. So maybe Raphael can help him soften it up first. But he can also uh, help them with that. I uh, shouldn't do that because he's level 6. I should leave it all, all for happy to do. I'll just sit around and look pretty. Ditto for Claude. I'm going to skip this whole turn. You got authority up to E. Plus. Nice. The hang of this. Well done, you. Ah, this sucks. Oh, no, I can just come out ahead sure. of her. That's right. Uh, I'm pretty sure. If you do a Rat Strike with the Training Sword, please. Nighty night. Nighty night. We got another Trade Secret. Excellent. I'll head out for in front of you, and I'll, uh, I should be able to tank most of this myself. Another Soul Blade going out on this Armor Knight would be good. Uh, let's just work on taking out the Mage first, then, because, uh, Lesithia's res is not amazing. So, uh, who's got level 5 right now? We want Marianne to get this finisher. Probably. <laughs> Yonk! It was extremely helpful. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll do a soul blade here and then another on this next turn because you won't be able to kill me and no one else can reach you. And I want uh, Leone able to back her up quickly next time so I'll have her right here. Ooh, gauntlets are good here. Uh, yeah, go for the gauntlets here. Get your brawling experience up a little here. Nice dodge! Oh, I love the, the bra brawler parry. It's so badass the way you just wheel back and then oof. Roundhouse kick. And he got Rally Strength, which is an excellent skill to have. Um, I'll probably want to equip him with that soon. When you see a bow, you can do a bit of damage here, but wait till uh, he softens it up a bit more, I'd say. Well, actually, even Claude could probably help here. 
Yeah, sure, get yourself some bow there. Uh, a whole bunch of people are gonna come after me, I better wanna- I better see how this plays out. Oh, they're gonna do nothing, it's gonna be fine. May as well skip this. Lysithia is now down at a low health. This might be my limit. It might be, but it isn't because he ah Wonk. Well done. You underestimated me. I didn't. They did, right? We're, we're clear about who underestimated whom and that it wasn't me doing the underestimating because I properly estimated your abilities because I thought your abilities were great. Happy Ignaz, Mary, and Lorenz. Still our priorities. You can bring them down to two uh, damage with this and he'll have an easy takedown with the steel bow then. So do that. Yonk. A trivial victory. Nice job. And you better help out here because, uh, well, I suppose I could help out a little here. So could Happy. She could get damage on the boss, actually, which is probably good. Her and Ignatz had better uh, tag team the boss because you get tons of experience for fighting them. Yeah, that's the stuff. Uh, and I guess I'll just take out the little ones as it stands. Or I guess you get take good, good, lots of good damage from takedowns as well. So it's good if you... Uh, well, just, just go ham on everyone you can shoot at, I guess. And Marianne, that goes for you too because you only just leveled up. Actually, uh, you can gambit this one. You can gambit her for some healing, but it's probably better if you get some bow shots out. We're laying waste to our steel bows here, and we're going to want them in good repair for the next story mission, but I think we'll have enough on them for the next story mission, probably. I will just stand here. Claude, don't help. We're, in, we're at a high level. I'm only... Actually, I really should have de my sword so I don't take anyone out. Because it'd be better if they... Uh, or if my friends did it. But right now, I'm going to be stealing some experience. Ah, a lot of experience, actually. I might want to uh, pulse that. I am going to pulse that, actually. When did I have myself wait... That was like the last thing I did. So let me just take off my sword so I don't actually take them out. I can let my friends do it. Sorry. Resume. There we go. All right, you heal up there, Raphael. Um, hang on, uh, Lawrence is getting doubled here with the steel bow, naturally. But he can do some good damage with it, so I think it's probably worth it. Uh, yeah, just start with that. They'll hit you for two. You'll be able to take them down next turn, I guess. Or no, well, this is the boss, so I want... Uh, all of our level, lower level people doing it. So you just got up to 53 experience. Happy you need 70. So if she can get the takedown Sorry. now, that's the thing to do. 73% chance. Nice shot. Well done. What did she say? <laughs> and magic speed res. Nice. As that magic grows, it'll be great. We can't wait till you get you. Can't wait till you get you magic weapon. Especially with the the dogs and cats, we'll be able to get a lot more arcane crystals. I think you can buy them from a store way late in the game, but we'll be able to get them much earlier and, and be able to keep our eleven swords in good repair. And hopefully, we get you some magic combat arts before long. I seem to remember Marianne getting hex blades pretty early on, but uh, that's for happy. And I could just look it up if I wanted to know, but it's it's rhetorical. I'm thinking aloud. And now that means you can get uh, may as well get the takedown with the steel bow there. Now what our level's looking like. Our level fives, that is. Uh, Lawrence could still use more, but so Marianne is comp could use a comparable amount, so you may as well uh, throw a steel shot out there. And Lawrence might be able to get up there as far and uh, uh, far enough to help this next turn. So I'll just leave it there, and they'll go after me. I'll take an ouchie from that. And now Marianne's got more experience than him, right? So he should get the finisher. With the steel bow, I'll just have her do a, a shot with the training bow to... Just get a little bit, a bit of experience there. And class mastery. And do you have a crit chance with the training bow? Yes, and you also take down, so it's not worth doing. And he can take down easily with the training bow now. And that right there was a successful no, training know. mission. A training episode altogether. That was an excellent way to go. Oh, 3,600 gold. Booyah. MVP Lawrence, there you go. Nice. I mean, uh, we're still, still a few of us at level 5, but... Experience growing quite steadily, and we got about as much out of that as we could have, uh, I, I would say. A rousing success once again. Except this time, actually much more rousing. So we're gonna have a bit of a, a mention of what's going on right before... Oh, it's Claude's birthday, though. Should we have some tea with him now? Let's. And then we're gonna have to talk about our uh, mission soon. Oh, Myron Pine Needles. I mean, he gave them to us. Shall we oh, ha make with the ones he gave us to I us? Make you, wait? I ran as fast as I could. <laughs> you know, you can fast travel, right? Mm, it's a nice smell. I think I love this one. Great. Good to hear. I mean, you have an excellent taste because you're the one who picked it for us. We have so many cookies all of a sudden. The taste of relaxation. The taste of relaxation. What a normal thing to say. Uh, cats gardening mishaps a new gambit. He likes talking tactics and strategy. He probably likes cats too, though. Food in the dining hall, cooking mishaps, exploring the monastery. He likes talking about walking around and strolls and... Learning secrets. Someone you look up to the existence of crests. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you, Claude. You're such a mystery. What would give you that impression? By which I mean to say, let's discuss this. Okay. 
Nevertheless, perfect. Forehead, tell me your secrets. Is my face really that interesting? Uh, you're pretty damn. It's so relaxing. It is so damn relaxing, isn't it? Sorry, I'm, I'm saying a lot of damn today. I've only got an owl feather. It's not for you, Claude. Sorry. Happy 18th. I'm afraid I've stayed too long. Thanks for the tea. Let's plan to do this again sometime. See you later, pal. No, it's my birthday. Hoppy and Claude enjoyed our Claude. Oh, Claude's charisma went up. Sweet. It's my birthday. Yay! Birthday bros, we're so close to together in birthdays. I love it. I dig it. It's swag delicious, that is. Oh, they're not even gonna have like a cutscene, which is great because uh, we are out of time as of a half hour ago. More like 40 minutes. But that was damn good progress. Pleased with what we were able to accomplish in so little time. Next video going on the channel, I think, is uh, the middle trials of Breath of the Wild. I recorded both the middle trials and the final trials of the sword, Trials of the Sword uh, not long ago. Well, it was a few weeks ago now, actually, I guess. And the middle trials are what will be going up next. I had to space them out because they're lengthy. It was a good time. I can say, having done all three, that the middle trials are my favorite of the three. So next episode is going to be a treat. And next time here, we'll be heading into the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth, which is a, a rather difficult mission, but... Uh, I think we've got what it takes. Actually, we'll be heading into supports first. Um, how many supports do we have? Claude's got four. I guess Claude's just got one with like everyone. And a few people have some with each other as well. Marianne and Lauren's up to C+. Wowie. And Hilda and Lor uh, Leone will be up to max. Oh, wow. We're building them quite uh, likably in that regard. So we'll start with that. Um, or we might even do a little mini episode to get rid of them because the, the mission's going to take a long time in and of itself. I'm not sure. I'll see. We'll see what we're doing. That, however, is all for now. So thank you so very much for coming around to this one. Hopefully I will see you around. Admiral's going to be out of here now. Peace. Ah, you know what I just realized? I haven't been changing the music for any of the auxiliary battles. I, I meant to do that this time. One of the other times we'll do it. Peace. Oh no, I think about this is way too easy. This is there's no way this is for real. You're like, I'll have that. I didn't get it. It must be that this last one has a, a bunch of health or something. Oh, there were bombs in the middle, I didn't notice. Oh, I'm still alive. I thought I was dead. I see. It might be time to do a bit of bomb spamming, in fact, that I survived for a lengthy amount of time. Okay, yes, this first one does indeed.